Welcome back to another very nice day, and today we're focusing on finally putting those solar panels in on the top of the bus. Now, a couple weeks back, we installed the rails up on the roof, and we kind of made our own custom system up there to put the rails up, and they were designed so that we could fit six solar panels up there, hoping to get about 1200 watts out of the panels that were installed on the roof. I was able to find some local panels that were taken off of a school roof when they needed to redo the roof and they weren't putting the panels back on, they got new upgraded ones, but these panels were in great, great condition. Each panel was 230 watts and total with six of them is about 1380 watts. Now I know that the system probably won't pull it at its max, but that is the max the system can pull from the roof. Next step was getting the panels on the roof and figuring out exactly where I wanted to place them. So these are the clips that I made. They're just L clips that are holding the panels onto the rail and then bolted into the panel itself. But after putting this panel up in the back here, I realized that I didn't like those at all. And I went online, found some aluminum clips that were meant for solar panels, and I was able to use them to secure them to the rails. So these are the aluminum clips. All they do is they kind of pull out and push back in depending on the height of the panels that you have. And then what I did was I added an extra washer, a very thick washer, so that it would sit in the channel and that it would catch the lips of both channel and hold the panel down. Here are the two back panels and this is the one panel on the right with the new clips, the left with the old clips. And here I am just putting the panels up and these are the second set of panels. And then like I said before, the center is attached by one central clip instead of two separate ones. Now the solar panels that I have up here are wired in series parallel, parallel series. Meaning that that one, that one, and that one are wired together. And that one, that one, and that one are wired together. Then right underneath this panel is where it enters inside the bus. So it's a total of 1,380 watts with these panels and 96 amps. Now that the solar is up on the roof and plugged in, we have to turn the solar isolator on, which is the switch here. And then once the MPPT solar charger has filled the battery bank up, it'll go into absorption mode. And then right after that, it should go into float mode. So as you can see now, it's in float mode. And if we look at the gauge, it should be showing around zero watts. So that means it's only pulling in the amount that the actual bus is using at that moment. So what I want to do is I want to do a full test of the system, which means turning the breakers on here, turning the inverter on, plugging the refrigerator in, turning on the AC unit, and then running all of the 12 volt components that are in the bus at the full time to see how much it's actually drawing. But we're going to try and run this test to make sure that everything is okay with the battery bank and the solar panels on the roof. So with everything running, the system is pulling about 1.16 kilowatts. And then you can see the amp hours, you can see the battery percentage, and then you can see the hours left based off of what it's pulling. So it seems like that's a successful test and everything that we wanted to run ran perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna have to do some calculations to see overnight if we can run the AC unit or anything else inside the bus if there is no sun and we don't have any ways to charge the batteries. Like I said before, the solar was the last thing that we need to do for the electrical system and that is done. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.